Hey guys, so today we are doing June's Boxy Charm. Um, and I want to do a try on style sort of video, so that's why only some of my makeup is done. We get to unbox this together. First up, this month's theme is Downtown Charm. So I'm just not gonna read the back yet, and I'm gonna put on this little cat ears headband. And if this shirt does not quit, I'ma cut it. So this is a first time ever for me. Um, I've heard other YouTubers talk about getting these, but I've never actually gotten one until just now. It's a like percent off code for the Santana, but it's thirty percent off, boxy thirty. It's for Ofra Cosmetics. I don't know if like you get it specifically for that one or if it works for all lipsticks that they offer or just anything in general, but I'll check that out and I'll see. So, since this is a try on style video, I'm going to first start with the stuff that I can't try on. All right, all right. And that's going to be the sheet masks that we got and they are from BioBell. Retails for $14.97. And we got three of them. This one moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. It is paraben free, gluten free, no GMOs. Hashtag beauty secret. It has pomegranate and hyaluronic acid in it. Um, then this one enhances the skin's natural glow. It is paraben free, gluten free, no GMOs. Um, natural extracts they I think all are gonna have botanic fiber um, with wild rose and vitamin C and the last one has tea tree oil rose hip extract and vitamin C enhances radiance minimizes pores and even skin tone it is a primer sheet mask so it helps prep the skin for a flawless makeup application again paraben free gluten free no GMOs um, the three sheet masks retail for $14.97 um, and you know their BioBell sheet masks are to give your skin an instant boost while deeply hydrating and evening your skin tone revealing gorgeous glowing skin. BioBell's award winning tinsel fiber adheres perfectly and delivers antioxidants to your skin faster and deeper. So. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to test these out since they're, you know, so natural. They're probably good for sensitive skin. If they're not, I'll let you know because I have sensitive skin. We got a brush from Luxie Beauty. This is the Pro Precision Tapered Brush. Um, since it came in the box, it is a little scrunched because there's just not a lot of room for it in here. But no worries if you wash it and um, when you are letting it dry and you just kind of like straighten it out and everything, it will dry fine. This brush from Luxie Beauty retails for $24. So, you know, it's the Pro Precision Tapered Brush, like I said. It is from their Rose Gold Collection. It is number 640. Sweep the competition away with this tapered brush, perfect for dusting away powders or applying highlighter, this brush screams versatility. So the boxy tip for this one is it's great for baking under the eye area and other places on your face you wish to highlight and set. This eyeshadow palette by Real Her, it's called the Real Her Playback Playbook, and it comes with a one, two, or three on it. So far I've seen people have the one, I have not seen the two or the three. Um, it is paraben free, certified cruelty free, natural ingredients, vegan, long wearing, sulfate free. Featuring rich, richly pigmented hues and sexy combinations designed for all eye colors and skin tones. Delight in, delight in long wearing, crease resistant, fade resistant, buildable colors and textures ranging from velvety smooth matte to metallic sheen. That is a lot of claims for this thing. And it gives you little tips on the back. So that's really nice for a beginner. So step one would be apply your lightest color. Step two is apply the middle hue. Take your color that is one step darker than your lightest, so your medium shade. 
Um, step three, contour your lid with the darkest shade. Use dome br brush with your darkest eyeshadow color to contour the eyelid, which would be the crease. And step four would be to blend. This is good for 18 months. Okay, so this does come with a pretty nice mirror in it and it does go all the way back, which is nice and you don't really feel like you're breaking it. You just feel like you're, you're bending it and that's why. Because this little hinge right here is not attached to the top, so it bends with it. I do like that. That's pretty neat. Um, it comes with nine shadows, only two matte, and the rest are the metallic sheen. And then this is like a very like nice matte, you know, that kind of like smooth kind of cover. I really enjoy when they do that. And it has the gold, the lettering's in gold in this, you know, which number it is. It's kind of in like a shiny black gloss. It smells like packaging. If you get this and you open that and you smell it, I don't think it's the shadows, I just think it's the package. 20% of Real Her gross profits are donated to AAUW. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna wing it. So I did already kind of take my concealer onto my eyelid and I set it with a setting powder. Um, so that's already done. There isn't really a shade in here that you can actually set. So I'm going to go in with the shade Strong and just first touch they do have a little bit of kickback, but that is kind of, you know, what people are doing nowadays. It allows for there to be a little bit of bigger, better pigmentation in most cases. So I'm just taking that and going back and forth, just flicking it out a little bit at the edge. So now I'm going to take a small little packer brush, wet that down with my Milani setting spray, take off some of the excess, and I'm going to go into the shade Creative, which is kind of like a purpley shadow. It's a metallic sheen, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and pack that onto the lid. Before that dries too much, I'm going to take, it's like a packer brush, but it's kind of like spread it, fanned out, so it's kind of like a um, blending brush too, and I'm going to take the shade Smart, and that had the most kick up, and I'm going to take that onto the corner, just to kind of deepen that corner a little bit and smoke it out, and then take it into the crease just a hair. That black is actually really nice, super pigmented if you use it. 100% be careful. <laughs> Cause it really did just like pack on the color. I wasn't expecting it to pack it up like that. I'm just going to go in with strong just a little bit more to kind of calm that crease down just a little bit. Okay. Now we're just going to take that blending brush again and blend out that shade smart. Strong. Okay, I'm just going to go in with strong just a little bit. And it's just not quite even. So just for underneath, I'm going to, first actually I'm going to highlight before I get that color on there. I'm going to take the shade Fine, put that underneath my brow bone. It is a metallic shadow. It doesn't have too much italicized qualities to it, so if you put it on with a white hand, it'll be okay. Um, and then take that same shade and pop that into the corner. Now I'm going to take that same brush, dip into Creative, which is the shimmer shadow we used. And I know that it's a metallic, but I'm putting it under there anyways. That didn't add too much, but it added a little bit of depth down there um, to kind of tie that look all together. And then ever so slightly, I'm going to take the shade Smart 
and put that on the corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, clean, clean, clean that off and just buff that out. Okay, so I'm pretty actually happy with how that turned out. I'm going to put on mascara and then I'll be right back with my thoughts on it. Okay, so I popped on my mascara and now we're back and I can give you, you know, my thoughts of this palette. So I think that the shadows perform really nicely. I feel that not having more than two matte shades is kind of the downfall of this palette that I'm swatching it on my arm as I'm talking to you. The lighter shimmer shadows aren't like as much as I would like them to be sort of thing. Um, and I'll explain that in a sec. I'll show you. I mean, they probably perform better with a um, wet brush. The deeper ones definitely are better. I also want to kind of talk about like the names of these. I think that it's really cool what they did. They kind of, I'm guessing, describe like empowering words for women. So we have fine, fabulous, fun, strong, proud, courageous, smart, creative, unique. Which, I do like that. I think that's pretty, pretty neat, if I do say so. Mossy. So what you can kind of tell by the swatches is the first three are definitely really light. That third one that didn't really show up on my skin is just because it kind of matches my skin tone just with, you know, metallic particles in it. So that's why I think you can't really see it too much, but the black was, yes, it's patchy. However, when you put it on the eyelid, it's not patchy like that. I mean, it's just a dark shadow and it's kind of hard to do. I think it's pretty good for what it's worth. Um, when you blend it out, it definitely gets less patchy. So there's that. And then those last two shimmer shades are like, boy, boy. I like them. So, I mean, overall, do I think that I could, you know, create an entire look with this palette? Yeah, but it would probably become a little redundant. Um, what I think is that you're going to have to pull from other palettes if you get this, but I also think that this palette, in terms of the ease of the blendability, it is pretty nice for a beginner, in my opinion. Now, if there were more matte shades, I definitely would recommend it just a little bit more, just because that helps create more looks um but yeah overall like i'm pretty happy with it um i'll definitely use it and i'll definitely reach for it i look at that and i feel creative when i see this palette and i do like the packaging quite a bit so this is shadow palette number one so i have no idea about number two or three but they do retail for 28 dollars um in the boxy tip with enough shades to create a perfect daytime or nighttime look eh, i can kind of see that this Real Her palette will be your new go-to. Start with the lightest color in your crease, then work your way to the darkest, making sure that everything is seamlessly and perfectly blended. So, next in this box, I'm pretty sure everybody got this, but it is the Artist Couture. This is a Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. Now, already, I have glitter all over my hands, and I haven't even opened it yet. So, I feel like this is going to be a shimmery highlight. Right here, there is plastic cover in that, but that's where the holes are. And then that, I'm not quite sure. So you can twist that so it's not always covering the holes. It's just all over the place, but from what I hear, this is really cool product and looks really fabulous. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's really finely milled. You definitely can see the, the glitter particles. I don't, let's see. See all that? That is how finely milled it is. So I can already tell this is gonna be all over my face. But let's go ahead and put on my cheekbones anyways. And I'm using the Lexi Precision Pro Precision Tapered Brush. What I'm realizing with this product is a little goes a long way. It does have a slight gold hue to it. But it looked like, it definitely looked like I had a stripe going on, so I kind of, I mean, I had to blend it in. I think it's pretty. I think it definitely had more pow when I didn't use my finger just to blend it in. So, like, it seems like it's kind of like the highlighter that kind of, like, sits there, and as soon as you touch it, it's gone sort of thing. But it is really pretty, so I think that that would be gorgeous for, like, flash photography or, like, the nighttime or something like that. 
is it for everyday wear in my opinion probably not just because of how finely milled it is I definitely have glitter all over my face now I have it just all over the place but it is a good highlighter so I will give them that now this retails for $26.99 this shimmering powder packs a high glow with a gorgeous sheen suitable only for true glow getters um, this is this all natural loose powder is finely milled for flawless application with versatility in use it is suitable for light to dark skin tones this product can be used on your face to highlight or on your eyes lips and body you had me at body that definitely makes me look glowy but dang look at that person you can definitely kind of tell that it's glitter uh, but on camera it looks gorgeous that's why it's gonna look gorgeous in flash photography but yeah that's pretty cool I do like that on to the last and final product this is from Ofra Cosmetics and it is a long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade I'm pretty sure this is Santana so this is a really pretty like berry shade in my opinion We'll see if it goes with this eye makeup look. It smells like vanilla. I've never used it for cosmetics before. It smells like cupcakes. So first impressions of that, I really like it. It definitely comes off not quite the same color as it is in the tube. I think it's a little bit deeper. Not by too much though. However, it is super comfortable. Not like I'm used to with liquid lipsticks. Um, it's definitely not drying. It's definitely comfortable. I honestly don't really feel like I have anything on the lips except for like right in the corner. Um, but everywhere else, not really sticky, not transfer proof. I don't know if it needs more time to dry. It looks dry. I feel like it shouldn't transfer. So this of course is by Ofer Cosmetics. It retails for $19.90 is a one step full lip color that does not feather. This vibrant color will give you vivacious, a vivacious new look. It's creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing on the lips, and creating a long lasting lipstick effect. No use to use lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives you beautiful edge to cover your lip look. Um, I will say, I do like the way that this applies. It doesn't pick up too much product where it like heavily puts it around the outside of your lips and then like makes it a little weird and then it's hard for you to like even it out in my opinion. I, I seem to have that problem with a lot of the applicators for my lip, liquid lipstick so if I'm not careful and actually like spreading it out then I get caught up and meh, meh, meh. and um I only had to dip one time into this. This is fully opaque. Didn't have to do a second layer. Definitely full cover coverage and I like the way that it felt when it applied like you couldn't even tell that it was drying at all it just felt creamy and comfortable like it says um i'm going to do the math real quick and by me i mean my calculator 113 dollars and 86 cents so that well covers the cost of this box it's 21 dollars a month three of the things are more than the box and then one of them is right dang near close and so i mean like it pays for itself and i think it's awesome out of all of the products, I liked every single one of them, and there's some that I even loved. I loved the liquid lipstick, and I love that brush, of course. I love Luxie brushes. Um, the highlight's good. It's just not an everyday use thing for me, and the palette's good. It's just not, like, the best thing I've seen in the world. So it's not like it's horrible, and sheet masks, of course, I don't know yet, but I'm sure that they're probably fine, and if not, I mean, I like everything else. I hope that you like the look that I created with this boxy charm, and I hope that you like this kind of style video. That's what I hope to do is every time I, I try to sit down and do it, and my mic doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work. I don't work because I don't turn it on. That's everything for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like this type of video and the style that I did it in this time. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me on all of my social medias. They are linked down below. I will post every single thing that I use on my face as well, even though it was off camera, just in case you have any questions. And I think that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I do really like that they are putting those little frilly willies in there. I've never really seen... God. 
this will be the bane of my existence just because I get it everywhere. Or if I did overdraw it, I need to keep doing that. I feel conceited. You better stop itching that. Quit. I hate these dang boxes. They make it so hard for you not to. Never mind, just kidding.